Chapter 4 Teachers Story to Students What should a spiritual teacher tell a human soul that has forgotten who it is in its eternity? Probably he should tell a human the eternal knowledge, forgotten by the human soul in wanderings through incarnations. This knowledge dissolves the disease in a human, whose name is not knowledge, and removes the pain of spiritual suffering from the soul in its incarnation, helping it go through the painless path of transformation of its living spiritual consciousness into a new, more beautiful being in the games of eternity. For example, in the angelic image or the image of the God of his individual universe, if you are lucky, then the soul will regain the state of the God of eternity by dissolving the individual consciousness of its soul in a single space of the living consciousness of eternity, and again it will remember itself as the primordial essence of the eternal space, which is Nirvana. But if the transformation of living spiritual knowledge occurs in the soul without eternal knowledge about itself, then this can lead to the opposite effect the transformation of the soul as a plastic living consciousness in an image, into a terrible demon or demon. This comes from ignorance of eternal knowledge about oneself and the suffering accompanying this action, leading the soul deeper and deeper into a state of anti-life, which corresponds to anger towards all living things, including itself and the suffering experienced by such a soul reinforces its belief that such a life has no meaning and unconsciously such a soul slowly commits suicide, transforming itself into a demonic image, which, as a result of a long transformation for suffering and hatred for all living things and itself suffering from this soul, having passed through purgatory many times and returning to incarnations, it still ends its eternal spiritual life by dissolving in the lower hell. Therefore, the root cause of the suffering of the soul is incorrect knowledge, which is taught to it from childhood by everyone, from parents, kindergarten, school and higher educational institutions, to spiritual teachers of various religions, they all do not reveal the main thing to the human soul, who it is in its eternity what goals and opportunities it has, what main practices it must use for its transformation into order to avoid the path of suffering, which is the reason for its transformation into demonic images, dressing the soul in living clothes of suffering, transforming the beautiful living consciousness of the soul into a terrible one. Each new suffering carefully grinds the edge of the demonic living image of the soul. Therefore, the main role and root cause in the failed versatility of the beauty of the living consciousness of the soul into its newer beautiful image, carry various planetary and spiritual teachers and their followers who, as a rule, do not know the eternal knowledge, but at the same time lead souls, increasing the entanglement of the soul on the web of ignorance, thereby being assistance in the transformation of the soul into demons helping to breed the demons of the lower worlds of spiritual reality. If it's not possible to transform the soul in one incarnation, then the soul again and again passing through the worlds of spiritual purgatory, returning to incarnations, will try to transform its living consciousness in the image of the soul into its more perfect state. If this doesn't happen, then imperceptibly the transformation of the soul will acquire the opposite pole, first becoming a spiritual leech of subtle dimensions that settles in a person, then it smoothly transforms into a demonic image, which will end its eternity by dissolving in the lower hell. Of course, having accidentally found eternal knowledge, a happy soul, with the help of it as an instrument, can transform itself in one incarnation into its new beautiful image. Everything depends on the individual karmic accumulations of the living consciousness of the soul and the determination of the living spirit of the soul to its spiritual transformation. Thus, with the help of the eternal knowledge about itself, the soul performs for itself a spiritual miracle of transformation into its new image. Therefore, a teacher 
Who knows, eternal knowledge will begin his story by telling the soul a story about the beginning. When there was a state of eternal space, when there was no time and soul yet, but what can be called Nirvana was eternal. This is the eternal primordial essence of an inseparable homogeneous space, which is aware of itself as I am. And this primordial essence decided to know itself, creating from itself the first spirits, first letters, which revealed time and became the bricks of the future living consciousness, from which living words were created, then living sentences in images and the meaning of a new life appeared on the path to self-knowledge, so it was manifested from itself, nirvana, in itself. The space of its living spiritual knowledge, having transformed into a joint space, which consisted of a self-aware space, nirvana, or I am, plus created from itself the space of living spiritual knowledge. Together it turned out realization itself with its living knowledge in its new state on the way to self-knowledge. Consciousness grew and transformed the state of homogeneity of space, nirvana, transforming its eternity. Next, the transformation of a single consciousness that has already been transformed into living thinking. In the impulse of the spirit to self-knowledge, created a new image of itself, a living soul, which became a living multidimensional consciousness in an individual image. This revealed a new step in self-knowledge of very single eternity, already in an individual image, separated by the every image of an individual soul, from its unity of the space of living consciousness, which people call the God of Eternity, further. The souls had an individual choice to become an individual creator of your own universe of living consciousness or gathering groups to co-create the universe. Different souls have chosen different paths of their self-knowledge and creation. Some deciding to become the creators of their own universes, created their first creations in the images of helper angels and entered them as a living thought clone of their soul, endowed their creations with their soul, starting the creation of their universe, in which, with the help of angels, stars began to be created, which, gathering in the cycle of galaxies, gave birth from their circular dance, planets, which the gods of the universe inhabited with countless images of creations, which became the population of the planets and avatars for the gods of the creators, that is, for their souls, with which they endowed and revived their countless creations with the help of cloning in their minds, starting a new life in self-knowledge of themselves in the image of creations. So wishing to know yourself, a single consciousness, Nirvana, the God of Eternity, transformed into a personal sphere of consciousness in the form of a soul, putting on the dense living consciousness in the form of a man. Having started a new game with himself, therefore, in order to understand the person who he is in his eternity, he needs to know his eternal beginning and the cause of all the eternal consequences emanating from this and what sufferings he will experience from ignorance of his beginning. When a person recognizes his beginning and who he is in his eternity, from that moment, he can choose his own path for himself in his eternity. To be a simple lived life, rejoicing in the fullness of the games in life, as a result of which, wandering through the purgatory of consciousness, try not to fall in the dissolution of your soul, being the god of the universe, as not held to eternal life. The soul has the ability to transform into an angelic image, to help God the creator of the universe, it also has the ability to transform the soul into a divine one and become God the creator of his individual universe of living consciousness. It is also possible to dissolve an individual soul in a single living consciousness of the God of eternity, becoming again oneself, that is, Nirvana, spontaneously acting in all realities of its living single consciousness, harmonizing the universes of its eternal self-knowledge. So having recognized himself and who he is in his eternity, 
A person can change his reality by choosing any option for the transformation of the soul. If a person understands brief eternal knowledge about himself, now a person knows the original cause of the eternal games of self-knowledge, which his living consciousness plays, and the consequence is approximately known where this or that transformation of the soul and games with it will lead, and in which of the multidimensional dimensions of the realities of the living consciousness. The soul will see itself in future games. It all comes from the individual choice and transformation of the living consciousness of the soul, which, having transformed, begins to qualitatively correspond to the spiritual realities defined for it in new dimensions of spiritual life. They are known to people as heavenly dimensions, or various purgatories, and finally hellish dimensions, of course divine dimensions, for those souls who are ready to merge with themselves as God the creator of the universe, then go further into itself, into the God of eternity, knowing itself at the beginning, becoming Nirvana, having completed the circle of self-knowledge, calm down until the next new adventures. Having known all this about himself, a person with problems accumulated in the back of his living consciousness of the soul, called individual karma or pocket of jewels, having thought calmly about all this, decides to slowly put things in order in his pockets, so the karma of his living consciousness and having made a revision and reassessment of the accumulated jewels, he goes through life already with a lighter soul, slowly transforming his soul. On the way he realizes that the pockets are still heavy and have to periodically clean them. There comes a time when the soul leaves a minimum of jewels in itself and all of them for one purpose, to easily reach the goal of completely liberating the pockets of karma and in the end, freeing itself from your individual soul, regain itself, a single living spiritual consciousness, becoming itself again, Nirvana, the God of Eternity. Thus, with the help of a meditative revision of the consciousness of his soul and a periodic self-assessment of its purity, a person wakes up from the sleep of accumulated karmic jewels, cognizes himself as a single holistic living consciousness, which is Nirvana, in the form of a single living consciousness in his eternal game with his living spiritual knowledge. Practices and methods of cleaning the spiritual accumulations of the soul may be different. They have been given to mankind for thousands of years, but the goal of all of them is the same, so that a person wakes up to his divinity. So do not argue about which teachers and practices are best. Just act, cleanse your soul, and the time you allotted for disputes is better spent helping those who are going to clean their souls behind you, telling them about their path and the obstacles on it. Maybe they will choose their own, the main thing is to go. So, having come to the right teacher of eternal knowledge, the human soul, having thought and evaluated all the pros and cons in its ego consciousness and what sufferings and joys it has gone through along the way in eternal wanderings through reincarnations, begins a slow path to itself the only God of eternity or Nirvana. Whatever path and with the help of any teachers the soul would not choose for itself, the main thing has already begun, and this main movement towards itself and not away from itself, and the journey time is only a moment in terms of its eternity, and this moment for the soul, now finally walking towards its eternity. Practices for transforming your soul, for an average person, can be simple. First, you should pay attention to the personal space for sleeping. This means sleeping in a separate room alone, so that no one interferes. Before going to bed, you can lie down or sit in the lotus position, spend an hour in meditation, the first days, weeks and months. On those days when the spiritual impulse of the soul comes to spiritual practice, it's worth trying to awaken of pineal gland, third eye which is located in the center, inside the human brain. This is done by focusing and concentrating the gaze of consciousness, with eyes closed on the head area between the eyes. After about a month of training, a person will feel eternal shocks in the area of the third eye, 
which means the unused pineal gland began to wake up and slowly began to open the portal of the spiritual dimensions of the eternal living consciousness. The next stage of practice will be already with the help of an open portal, third eye, to the spiritual worlds. To begin the practice of astral travel in a dream, they will begin on their own, spontaneously and will return to the soul the awareness of the lost freedom in the universe and strengthen the spirit of searching for oneself in one's eternity. Combining night travels with the cleansing of one's soul, which takes place by concentrating in one's consciousness at any place and time during the whole day. This is how we teach consciousness to live in constant meditative concentration until the moment of naturalness of this process in our round-the-clock life, not noticing how our consciousness naturally always contemplates reality in a meditative calm way, noticing your play of your consciousness with it, the visible reality. So, at work or on vacation, the practitioner meditatively contemplates the game of the consciousness of his soul, accustoming the soul to the correct vision of the whole reality and himself in it. The practitioner has two lives, one in astral travels through eternity in acquiring eternal knowledge, the other is the usual one that he lived before the practice and if he does not tell anyone about his night life in dreams or real travels in the subtle dimensions of the spirit, then no one will know that he practices and will not accuse him of betraying his faith and religion, because faith has nothing to do with it at all and a person of any faith can reveal his spiritual abilities in himself. The next step on the path of practice will be a change in the state of purity of the soul. This is done by a reassessment of the accumulated values in the human mind, which leads to the opening of portals to new dimensions of the unified divine consciousness. This happens by the method of matching the purity of the soul and these new spiritual dimensions for it, thus transforming the soul by the method of cleaning. There is an increase in open portals to spiritual dimensions where the soul receives even more knowledge about its eternity and its role in it, and even during life, in the body, visit the heavenly and hellish dimensions of the spirit and remembers a lot about itself. So living an ordinary human life and harmonizing a little his personal space for sleep, a person discovers for himself all his eternity of knowledge directing the game of the consciousness of his soul into a new interesting direction of his eternity. While spending an hour a day on this before going to bed and then, only when there is a rush of spirit to practice, otherwise an hour without a burst of spirit will pass in vain, and it's better to just fall asleep without wasting your time. So from a burst of spirit to a burst of spirit, a person wakes up to his eternity, and one day, he will understand that this practice was the only truly significant event in his life on the earth, because all the other events of his life were always repeated with slight deviations in his eternal wanderings in incarnations. So a person without spending much time on spiritual practices can wake up to his eternity and become a living awakened person, Buddha, outwardly playing in the world as a garbage collector in the city center or a billionaire sailing on his yacht to his island, in both the player can secretly wake up, by the method of spiritual practice, a single awakened consciousness of oneself, Nirvana, the God of Eternity. And those who sleep comfortably in their games, let them sleep for now. The karmic alarm clock of the spirit in their soul has not yet rung. So we can sum up a brief understanding of eternal knowledge, it reveals to the human soul the knowledge of its eternity, the main of which is that the soul has several paths in its eternity. One leads to the perfection of the soul and the strengthening of its choice to become more advanced in the games of eternity, strengthening its individual living ego consciousness and transforming it into an angel or a god of its universe. On the way, nourishing their new illusions of their living consciousness. 
thereby strengthening their soul and spirit for new individual achievements in their individual spiritual game. The second path leads to the transformation of the soul into the image of the demon. And as a result, such a failed soul dissolves into life in the lower hell. The third path leads the individual soul, which has become a dungeon for itself, for its eternal games, to the desire to cease to be an individual soul, and by the method of practice, it ceases to nourish and thereby strengthen the illusions of its individual ego consciousness, which leads such a soul to the refinement of its individuality and is noticed by the soul, as the lights of its one over soul with dimensions of infinity begins to feel it, while the memory returns from its eternal single, mega or over soul and ego consciousness of the individual soul begins to melt in the light of a single consciousness above the soul and, as a result, under the onslaught of the above consciousness of its one, the individual ego consciousness surrenders, awakening, merging into unity, so the human individual soul becomes again itself above the soul or God of eternity. The third path for souls is the path of awakening from the individual illusory games of the living ego consciousness soul, which frees the soul from the prison of individual illusory games of the living ego consciousness to its single living consciousness beyond the soul, which is the God of Eternity. Souls following the third path of an encounter in their practice, which is the dissolution of oneself in the eternal self with the problem of the spontaneous impulse of the spirit that creates in the living consciousness of such a practitioner this desire to help, create and create. But what to create? yourself as a soul, or external manifestations such as paintings, various crafts, to its individual universe. It has no questions about this. In a fit of spirit, and only an attentive teacher notices that in the soul of such a soul there is a rush of spirit to creation, and, having stopped it in time, explains to it that if it does not stop in time, then it, the soul, nourishes directly feeding your living illusory thoughts with your spirit, together with them densities its soul, since the soul is an individual living consciousness in the image, and this identification of the soul leads to strengthening ego consciousness, thereby strengthening the soul as a lattice in the prison of its own spirit. It will then again be very difficult for it to destroy the lattice of her own prison of its own impulses of the spirit to individual creativity. Therefore, the teacher carefully observes the spiritual practice of the soul of the student, and in time dissolves the impulses of the spirit in the student towards individual creativity, and teaches the student to do this himself, following his own impulses on the spirit of the living consciousness of the soul, because if this is not practiced, it will lead the student again to eternal wanderings through the incarnations in the karma of creation, an angel or creator of his universe, but to eternal freedom, nirvana, the god of eternity, the path is still closed, having brought it into the karmic creative cardiogram of the spirit, on what external stimuli in the world the karmic cardiogram of the living consciousness of the soul will work, the student will have to practice with those ways of spiritual consciousness dissolving karmic reactions ego consciousness, the time will come when the practitioner will not notice the waves of the spirit emanating from the karmic cardiogram, ego consciousness. This time will be the next stage, which will be the subtle dissolution of the individual soul and the already dissolved ancient karma in it, into a single merger with its super soul. But when the practitioner, noticing all the reactions of the spiritual living, ego consciousness, concentrates the spirit on his reactions to the stimulus, dissolving the causes, irritants of his spirit, dissolves the consequences and he himself ceases to be his own irritant of the spirit. This is how the karma melts and the spiritual cardiogram of the living consciousness shows, instead of waves of thoughts and impulses of the spirit, to irritants in the world and within the practice, already a continuous line of calm contemplation 
Speaking of death, ego consciousness, and, along with it, karma with an individual soul, and at the same moment of death, ego consciousness, there is a birth of a new, long forgotten state above the soul and all knowledge. This state is called waking up or awakening to oneself, Nirvana, the God of Eternity. So, having given yourself a little time in spiritual practice, a person awakens to himself, Nirvana, the God of Eternity, and becomes a living Buddha during his lifetime, that is, awakened from all illusory game in, ego consciousness, and illusory individual soul, who regain their super soul with their super consciousness, while thinking about what to do with this new or long forgotten state and what games to play in their single eternal and free state. Choosing the path of a teacher of souls, or a soul unknown to anyone above, spontaneously helping its integral eternity in its endless games. This is how the path of self-knowledge ends and the path of eternal spontaneous action begins, on the request of its already beyond the karma that the God of Eternity lives, sometimes going to rest in himself, Nirvana, and in the state, I am, before creation, into eternal peace and silence. Thus, a person, having gathered his five eternal states into unity with the help of eternal knowledge, awakens into a single state of bliss, which is now always and from him, spontaneously harmonizes his single eternity creating miracles of the Spirit, as one, Nirvana is the God of Eternity.